I feel like if I had any horse riding uh, skills coming into this whatsoever, I would be like 110% confident, but now I'm at like 70. But I got the look down. Now the way the Evolve system works is you just walk through these gates with something in your hand and the system automatically alerts security to potential threats. 911 centers across the Mountain State received hoax phone calls today claiming that an active shooter situation was occurring inside local schools. A story of courage and teamwork in Pocahontas County as members of the Warrior football team thought and acted quickly to save multiple lives. That's right, Izzy Rubbin is racing out here at the State Fair, boogity boogity. Well, some kids are having a great time riding on these plastic horses. Other kids are winning supreme champion medals for real life animals that they've raised themselves. The moment they get to get off their bikes and get a rock star hero's welcome from the students here at Raynell Elementary. Learning from textbooks and talking in the classroom is great, but when it comes to learning about agriculture, there's truly nothing that can replace being out here in the field with the cattle. It is looking like a smooth ride at the Toys for Tots donation gathering in Fayetteville. This bad boy's a little too small for me, but I can make it work, and I think it's going to be the perfect size to fit right under somebody's Christmas tree. Thanks, Izzy. A story of courage and teamwork in Pocahontas County as members of the Warrior football team thought and acted quickly to save multiple lives. Here is their remarkable story. After a second day of football practice at Pocahontas County High School, senior Nicholas Stevens was involved in a horrific car accident on his way home. Nicholas's parents were notified of the accident by a local officer, but they say until they got to the hospital, they didn't even know if their son was alive. The first question I asked, is he alive? Yeah. That's the officer said he was alive. Yeah. I'm like, that's not a lot of assurance, man. Nicholas's leg needed to be amputated, but two weeks later, he is alive in good spirits and receiving further treatment at Carillion Memorial Hospital in Roanoke, Virginia. Doctors say he will have a final skin graft surgery on Friday and his injuries are no longer considered to be life-threatening. The Stevens family say it is a miracle, not only that their son survived, but that he will still get to live, for the most part, a normal life. But none of that would be possible without the actions of Nicholas's teammates and coaches who saw the cars on fire and immediately got out of their cars and rushed to help. We pull up on the accident and we see that both vehicles are involved and both vehicles are on fire. So we get there and our initial thought is, okay, we need to help. The first two to arrive were Brad Carpenter and his son Brady. Oh yeah, he was hot. Uh, no. Heat was, the heat was intense. I can, I can only imagine what, what he was going through in the car. When the Weimers arrived, the four quickly came up with a plan to extinguish the fire as fast as possible. He gave me a five-gallon bucket and Brady his lunchbox, and we went to the river multiple times, shuttling water from the creek to the car to put it out. As more football players, coaches, and bystanders all stopped to help, they formed an assembly line, passing buckets of water from the creek up to the accident until the fire was put out. The actions of the players and coaches that day saved Nicholas's life, as well as the lives of the family in the other car. They're heroes. You know, I don't know if anybody likes to be classified as a hero, but yeah, those boys, for you know their age and for what they've done, they did hesitate. Nicholas's parents say there's only one thing they want to tell the boys who helped save their son's life after the accident. Thank you. I mean, that's words can't you know, describe kind of uh, the goodness it feels to know that there's still a bunch of good kids like you guys out there uh, risking, you know, again, the very most precious thing you have in your life for another life. As the Warriors prepare for their first game on Friday, they're dedicating this season to their teammate, Nick. We're here to make a difference this year and make a long run to playoffs, hopefully. And every game will be for him. Now, what makes this story even more touching was that the Stevens family had only moved to town from Florida this summer. These kids who risked their lives to save Nicholas really had only known him for just two football practices. Reporting live in the studio, Rivers Upchurch. 59 News. And in Lizzie, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there's a new competing news station out there in the area. 
They might be cute, but I'm not too worried they're coming for my job just yet. But 59 News reporter Rivers Up Church has a story on this new station. Quiet on the set. Ready, set, action. KTDN, or Kids Trying to Do News, is a group of aspiring reporters, camera operators, editors, and anchors out of Miss Vandal's class at Shady Spring Elementary. Every other Friday, the students host a newscast, and they've interviewed everyone from the Shady Spring High Boys basketball team to New York fashion designers, and even yours truly. But as a fellow journalist, I have to say, they weren't afraid to ask the tough questions. Do you have a girlfriend? Miss Vandal says she always wanted to put together a school news show, but KTDN has taken off further than she ever imagined. And when the videos come out and all the kids around the school are going, can I be on KTDN? And I'm like, not till you get in fifth grade. And everybody wants to, I mean, they're celebrities, big time. Vandal says putting the show together has helped the students learn how to collaborate and try new things together, as well as teaching them video editing and public speaking skills. Being on camera also helps a lot of the students overcome their fears like the way Tyler felt when he interviewed the basketball team. Uh, it was Dope. nervous. I couldn't move my legs. I was so nervous. <laughs> you had to go pee after. Yeah, I had to go to the bathroom after. I was so nervous. KTDN also forces the students to leave their social circles and all work together as a team. Anchor Aubrey Hatfield says doing KTDN together has brought her a lot closer with her crewmates. Uh, I just had a good time overall like with these people because I was never really close friends with them before this and I think it's just overall a good time. KTDN is so official they even have their own signature sign off. KTDN out! Reporting in Raleigh County, Rivers Up Church, 59 News. Well I think I have my new favorite newscast. You can check out their newscasts on their YouTube channel, KTDN Kids Trying to Do News. Well, it's July, which means it's time for our Never Have I Ever series, where our 59 News team hits the road to try something they've never done before. Today, 59 News reporter Rivers Up Church is seeing if he has <laughs> what it takes to be a medieval knight. Check it out. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. For my first Never Have I Ever, I traveled back to medieval times to pursue my lifelong dream of turning myself from a lowly news squire into 59 News' knight in shining armor. With the help of the good people at the West Virginia Renaissance Festival, I removed my peasant clothes and got dressed in all the trappings of a battle-tested warrior. That's called a gorget. That's going to protect your neck from the lance skipping up and hitting you under the chin. But I didn't come this far and put all this armor on for me to be the one getting hit in the chin. I feel like I'm ready to knock somebody off a horse. <laughs> Before long, I was fully outfitted. You bad at moving everything? I'm good. I got full range of motion right here. And it wasn't until I saw the size of my new trusty steed that I started to get a little nervous. I feel like if I had any horse riding uh, skills coming into this whatsoever, I would be like 110% confident. But now I'm at like 70. But I got the look down. But there's no time for fear when it comes to being a knight. So I threw on my helmet and headed to the jousting arena. I kind of feel like uh, Shrek when he's going to save Princess Fiona. But once I felt the cold steel of a sword in my hands, I knew I was born for the medieval lifestyle. So with a newfound confidence, I hopped up onto a horse for the first time in my life. You're going to put your left toe in this stirrup. Uh huh. And then you're going to stand here and throw your right leg over. Yep. Don't thump onto his back very gently and light, and then readjust okay. your skirts. One, two, one, two, three. Whoop. Very nice. Nicely done. Squeeze with your leg. That's it. Exactly Before right. long, I was riding like a seasoned pro. And, and of course, hamming it up for my cheering section. Yeah! Right. Right. This one's dedicated to all my fans. But now it was time for the main event, my first ever jousting match. My opponent, a seasoned pro who knew how to ride a horse and use a lance. Me, overconfident and trying desperately not to fall off the horse. But I liked my chances. And lance up. Charge. Whoa. Did I win? No. But I survived. It was an honor to be defeated by you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both teams, both teams played hard.
Unfortunately, it wasn't long before I did eventually succumb to my wounds on the battlefield. Tell my mother I loved her. So when I showed up to the West Virginia Renaissance Festival today, all I knew about being a knight was from Game of Thrones. But now I can handle myself with a sword, on a horse, and even die a warrior's death on the battlefield. Reporting in Greenbrier County, Sir Rivers Upchurch, 59 News. Can we take a moment and give our 59 News Knight in Shining Armor Shrek a great round of applause? Because I mean, that, that was, was phenomenal. Incredible. I'm literally crying, Sir Rivers Up Church. Sir wow. Rivers Up Church, Shrek. I, I'm so impressed with what he did out there. And I, everyone needs to know, Rivers is this funny all the time. Yes. I don't know who gave him permission to be this funny, but he is the funny. I say it every day. He's the funniest person oh, I know. Oh, gosh. That was so good, Rivers. Thank you for giving us a very good giggle this morning. Um, I'm impressed with your, yeah. with your performance. Ten, well, on, 10 out of 10 from us over here.